Hello and welcome to another video for Minus Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we are looking at something that is now very old, very rare and very, very collectible. We are looking at the 1975 release by IPC Magazine from their Battle Picture Weekly series of uh, comics or magazines. And this particular one we are looking at today is issue number three. And this is the comic in front of us. And at the top it says, number three, Inside Battle's Book of War Heroes. Battle, 22nd of March, 1975, every Thursday, picture weekly, six pence was the cover price. And it says, free inside, 20 of these superb battle swap cards a fantastic gift featuring weapons of World War II. You can make up your own favourite set by swapping these cards with your pals. See page inside for exciting details. And it says the cards illustrated are a selection from the sets of 20 that are being given away. Okay, so that is the front of the comic. Let's just turn it over to the back page and see what we got on the back. So on the back, it's got none other than the Lone Ranger Rides again, which is an advertisement. It says, a masked rider hits the trail once more on Silver, his horse, and with his ton with Tonto, his trusty Indian companion. This fully movable cowboy is complete in every detail. You can move him into hundreds of action positions, riding, shooting, fighting. You can even unmask the Lone Ranger. And there are lots of adventure kits based on the exciting episodes that made the Lone Ranger famous. Um, so the, the Lone Ranger figures and toys were actually made by Lewis Marks. Um, you can see that you've got the Lewis Marks logo at the bottom there. It says, the adventures of, uh, of the Apache Buffalo Hunt. Will the Lone Ranger save Tonto from the Buffalo Stampede in time? The Adventures of the Cavalry Patrol. Will the Lone Ranger and Tonto discover why the Cavalry Patrol keep disappearing? And the Adventures of the Carson City Bank Robbery. Uh, will the disguised Cavendish gang throw the Lone Ranger and Tonto off their trail? Okay, so that's the back of the comic. Without further ado then, what I want to do now is turn the comic back to the front and let's open it up and have a look at what's inside. Okay, so I've turned the comic back around and I've opened it up. And this is the first page as we've opened it. Now, before we look at the comic strip, I just want to take a look at the three um, battle cards that come with this set. So you've got, um, there's four different groups. So you've got um, aircraft, guns, um, ships and uh, weapons um, and uh, there's four groups that you that, that each contain. I think it's twenty cards in each set. But there's the, the, you've got the Great Britain set, you've got the German set, you've got the Russia set, and you've got the uh, USA set. And there's twenty cards um, for each of those. So twenty cards for Great Britain, twenty cards for Russia, twenty cards for Germany, and twenty cards for USA. And overall, there's eighty cards complete. And your object is to swap the cards with your pals and make up a complete set of 20 of your um, choice of nation. If I just turn the cards around to the back, you can see you've got uh, full descriptions on the back of the card of what each card is. So, for example, you've got from Great Britain, you've got a Lancaster Heavy Bomber. Um, from Japan, you've got the Heavy Machine Gun. USA, you've got a Hamel and Glider. Uh, Japan, you've got the Anti-Tank Gun. Great Britain, the Valentine Tank. Germany, the Night Fighter version. USA, the landing craft rocket, USSR, 12 millimeter howitzer, Japan, the Fuso battleship, uh, Germany, um, the Virgil Tungswaffen or revenge weapon, the V1s or V2s as they was called, USSR, KV-1 tank, Japan, Zero fighter, German ball, 75 millimeter recoilless gun, USA, P-38 lighting fighter, USSR, uh, JSU, 152mm SP gun, uh, and Great Britain, HMS, uh, Serif submarine, uh, Japan, Type 97 tank, USA, Thompson submachine gun, Japan, 75mm Type 88 AA gun, and Great Britain, Vickers heavy machine gun. So that's all the battle cards that come with this particular set. 
And so that's 20 out of the complete set of 80. I'm just gonna move them out of the way so we don't damage them because they're still all sticking to their perforations and I don't want them to come out. Okay, so the first comic in this, uh, the comic strip in this comic is called D-Day Dawson. And it's a British artillery barrage with Dawson at the target. And that is a black and white comic strip, which runs for three pages. And the second comic strip is called Loft is One Man Loftworth. And it's challenged to a duel in a tunnel of doom. And again, that is a black and white comic strip, uh, which again runs for three pages. Uh, you've then got the Amazing War, Animals in Action. That tells you all about animals that were were trained during the war to perform certain duties or during wars to perform certain duties and here we got the first of the um battle book of war heroes and it's freddie and true life uh, adventures of world war ii heroes and it says prevented by battle picture weekly uh, and you cut that out and fold it in half um, and that you build that up over a period of issues and that's the inside of what this first issue would have Okay, the next comic strip is called The Flight of the Golden Hind, and it's orders to the Hind rescue a British secret agent. And I think, again, that runs for... It's a black and white comic strip, again, running for three uh, pages. Uh, and then we've got another true life story of bravery in battle, and it's called Anzio. Um, and again, that is... A, well, that's a two-page comic strip story, uh, again, in black and white. And then we come to the centre pages, and this was their... Uh, really their big story for the um, comic and it was called uh, the Rat Pack uh, and it says location Norway target German troop convoy mission snatch for quizzing quizzling snatch top quizzling scientist professor Niels Orson and it says another deadly job for the convict commandos known as Rat Pack and they were convicts that were taken out and put into a group called the Rat Pack um, and they had to go on missions that would no one would normally survive and this is a six page comic strip story um two page in full color and four pages in black and white uh okay and then we move on to the next comic strip which is all called, called the bootneck boy it said danny's dive into deadly peril and again that is a three page black and white comic strip story uh, and then we've got the races on, and that is all about the um, battle cards that came at the front. So um, it says, beat your mates and be the first to collect a complete set of 16 cards of the country's weapons in the wonderful Battle Picture Weekly Swapping Cards uh, operation. Sorry, I said there was 20 cards in each set, but it's 16 cards in each set. Um, it says the scheme features 80 different cards of World War II weapons from five different countries, Great Britain, Germany, USA, Japan and Russia. 16 cards make up a complete set of each of the five countries. In this issue, you have received a varied bunch of 20 of the 80 cards that are being distributed in Battle Picture Weekly all over the country to complete the set of 16 cards of your choice. Simply swap your pals who will have received one of these three other batches of 20 in their copies of battle picture weekly have fun with the with your swap cards and don't forget the next part of your war heroes booklet is in next week's battle and it tells you uh set a um you got four three six three and four and so on so that gives you the quantity of cards that are on each sets so i don't know what set number we have here here our set number uh it doesn't say um does it say it where it's set A, B, C or doesn't? No. So I don't know what set number our set is, but uh, those are the quantities of cards that come on each set. And you've got a couple of stamp competitions, um, or stamp quizzes rather, stamp competition and a collective stamp collector's outfit. And then moving on to the next story, it's the Day of the Eagle. Uh, and it says, German close, the Germans close in can make Nelson break out. And that, again, is a three-page comic strip story. It reminds me of The Great Escape. Steve McQueen was on his motorbike. Um, and then the next story is The Terror Behind the Bamboo Curtain. And, again, that is British soldiers dressed as Japanese. And that is a three-page comic strip story, which is the last story in this week's uh, comic. And, again, it's three-page um, black-and-white comic strip story. 
Okay, so that brings us to the end of the magazine. I'm just going to very carefully pop those cards back inside the, co the comic so it doesn't get damaged. Um, okay, so how well did this comic do? Well, to be honest with you, it done very well. It ran for quite a long time. So it started, the uh, first issue was... Um, in 1975, um, I think it was, uh, well, it was two before this, so 14 days before the 22nd. So, uh, what's that? The 8th of March was the first issue, and it ran right up until the 23rd of January, 1988. And there were 644 issues uh, produced. So it was a very, very popular um, comic strip, uh, a, a magazine um, or comic, as you might say. Um, it was released to compete with uh, DC Thompson's Warlord comic, which is also all based on um, the World War Two stories. Um, and um, this one was basically their version of Warlord. Warlord seems to be the most um well known of all these comics i think it seems to be a, a lot more warlords that were were produced i think there's a lot more issues of warlords that were produced also uh, but that seems to be the the main war comic from this era um however battle picture weekly would probably have ranked second in that um uh series of comics um and of course when this uh, was released originally it was an instant success um, and in fact, a lot of the stories that are printed in these comics have since received um, critical acclaim and been published in lots and lots of collector's editions of um, the war comics from the time. So, yes, it was a very popular comic. Yes, it sold um, mass produced, sold many, many, many copies um, and was available um, weekly every Thursday um, I can remember when I was a boy my dad used to go and pick me up from the the um, comic shop or the corner shop uh, I had Battle Picture Weekly and I also had Warlord uh, and I also had um, uh, Fireball but anyway that's a, uh, another issue I've digressed again so now fast forward to nearly 50 years um, so 1975 to 2024, or 49 years to be precise, 49 and a half years to be precise. Um, are these comics readily available nowadays? Do they come up very often on the platforms? Well, the answer to that is you do see a lot of these comics come up on the platforms. You very, very rarely see the lower issues with the free gifts. A very very rarely issue. You, you can if you go onto any any of the platforms nowadays, you will find copies of Battle Picture Weekly. You will find early copies, but most of them do not have the free gifts. Um, one of the things that we found with our, the comics is that we do try to make sure that the ones we we offer for sale, uh, if they came with a free gift, um, the free gift is still with them. Otherwise, I'm not usually in, we're not usually interested in in marketing them um, so we like to do them complete this particular one um, as with a few of the other comics we've we had were issues that weren't sold from a comic book shop that closed down some years ago and we bought out all of their stock um, and this was this particular comic issue was amongst all the comics that were left in their stock room that never sold so basically this comic has never been sold it's in as good as new condition or as perfect as you would have you will never get a better ver version of this comic than this particular one we have here now um as i say it's never been sold it's a new issue um if you went into a shop back in not uh, on 22nd march 1975 this is exactly how you would have bought that comic um so um very difficult to find in this condition with the free gifts however we at Midas Touch have managed to find one, and this particular one, we only have the one like this, uh, but this particular comic is available to purchase on the Midas Touch website. 
and you can get to the Mice Touch website very simply by clicking the link below. It will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage um, comics and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive that this is something that you won't want to miss because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you're looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky you might want to buy for a friend, or perhaps just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on the review of this wonderful, wonderful old comic. I do hope you've enjoyed reviewing it with me. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again next video. So bye for now.